Hi guys, welcome to volume part two. Today we're going to be talking about the volume of pyramids and cones. So we're going to go ahead and write down the formula. Okay, so you remember that volume is the measure of space occupied by a 3D figure. So you always want to think about filling a swimming pool or filling up a, um, an object with liquid. That tells you what the volume is. The formula for volume of pyramids and cone is equal to volume equals one third. And remember the big B is area of the base and the H is the height of the pyramid or the cone. So you're always going to find whatever shape the base is, what you're going to plug into this formula, you're going to divide it by 3, and you are going to multiply by the height, and that should give you the area. So let's move on to our first example. Okay guys, so we're going to do example 1, and we're doing the volume of a pyramid. Now remember, the volume of a pyramid is exactly the same as you did prisms and cylinders. The only difference is that you're going to divide it by 3 because you can fit three of these into what would be the prism. So this area, or sorry, the formula is the same. Area of the base times the height, but at the end you're going to go ahead and multiply it by one third or divide by three. So whenever we're doing these, we always want to pull apart the formula, and the one thing that we want to find is the area of the base. So you want to ask yourself, what is my base shape? And based on this pyramid, my base shape is a square, right? So to find the area of the base, you're going to do side squared. And in this example, the side is 12. So 12 squared gives you 144 feet squared. So this is the area of the base. So then all you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're going to plug it into the formula we have here. So it's 1 third times the area of the base, which is 144. And then we're going to multiply that by the height of the, uh, sorry, of the pyramid. And the height of the pyramid is 5. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and multiply one-third by 144, which gives me 48, and we still have to multiply that by 5, and then 48 multiplied by 5 is 240 feet cubed. And don't forget, whenever we're doing area, we're always going to do cubic feet because there's three dimensions, length, width, and height. Okay? So make sure you go back and see if you can follow my steps, and if you have any questions, jot them down. Rewind and double check and go ahead and try example two on your own. Don't forget that you have to indicate what your base is in order to solve that problem. Good luck. All right, guys, here's the solution to example number two. Remember, you're always going to start off with your formula, volume equals one-third the area of the base times the height. So what I would suggest that you always do is you come over here and you find the area of the base first. And the base is a triangle, so we're going to use the one-half base times the height. Remember, the base is the base of the triangle and the height is the height of the triangle. And because it's a triangle, remember, those two have to be perpendicular to each other. So we have 7 times 2, which is 14. Then we're going to multiply that by 1 half, which is the same thing as dividing by 2. So that leaves us with 7 yards squared, which is the area of the base of the uh, prism. So we're going to plug that in over here for area of the base. Now the height of the, uh, sorry, I forgot what it was. The height of the pyramid is 7. So we're going to multiply 7 times 7, because the area of the base times the height, that gives us 49. And then we're going to multiply it by 1 third, or divide it by 3, and that gives you 16 and 1 third yards cubed. Don't forget to use the cube, because we're talking about volume. All right, let's move on to example 3. Okay, guys, so here we are in example 3. This time we're talking about a cone. Now the formula is the same. 1 third times the area of the base times the height. Now the only difference is that the first two examples, one was pi r squared because our base is a circle. So we're just going to go through and we're going to plug it in. So we have pi times the radius squared, which is 3 squared. So that gives us pi, which is 3.14, times 3 squared, which is 9. And then 3.14 times 9. So now that you have the area of the base, you're going to take this and you're going to plug it into the original formula. So that would give us one-third times the area of the base, which is 28.26. And then you're going to multiply that by 2, which is the height of the cone. 
So one third times 28.26 is 9.42, and then we still have to multiply that by 2. And 9.42 divided, or sorry, multiplied by 2 gives you 20. Sorry, it doesn't give me that. It gives you 18.84 feet cubed. Okay, so the hardest part of this, you guys, is making sure that you do this part correctly, doing your correct base, plugging it in, and then just coming back and putting it into your original formula and doing all your steps. All right, so go ahead and try example four on your own. Um, it's another cone, so it should be fairly simple. It should be exactly like this. The only difference is going to be um, your numbers, obviously. Um, so pause the video and see how you did. Thanks. Okay, guys, here's the solution for example four. Remember, you always want to start with your formula again. Volume equals base times the area of the base times height divided by three. So first thing you want to do is find the area of the base, which in this case, since it's a cone, is a circle. You're going to use base equals pi r squared. So our radius is 2, 2 squared is 4, and we're going to put in 3.14 for pi. When you multiply that out, you get 12.56 inches squared. So now we're going to plug that in for area of the base like I've done here. And then the height of the cone is 4.5 inches. So we do 12.56 times 4.5, and you get 56.52. And then, of course, you're going to turn around and divide that by 3, and you should have gotten 18.84 inches cubed. Um, and then we're going to put up a challenge problem here in a second. Go ahead and just work through that and see if you can get it, and we'll give you the right answer tomorrow. Thanks.